The following presentation may contain language unsuitable for elderly grandparents, household pets, and nuns. Unnamed Drag Productions accepts no responsibility for any resulting homosexuality, teenage pregnancy, or chemical dependency that may transpire as a result of listening to this garbage fountain. You have been warned. Enjoy! <laughs> Unnamed Drag Podcast. Hi guys. Hi, welcome back. Welcome to Violating Community Bold and the Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Trixie and Katia, Brittany Broski and Sarah Showers Podcast yeah. because we just recap those. Yeah, we are all here doing the thing. Dorothy's about to rub her face on the tripod and ruin the shot. Hey, Love baby. that. I don't know what my shot is. I think I'm in shot, but I've just... So basically, I've had to set up the camera on a um, tripod that isn't built to hold phones. So it's just it's, got like cardboard covering the screen and electrical tape. Yeah, she's not meant to be a <sighs> smartphone girl. She's meant to be like a family cam, co- like mum and dad filming their lovemaking. Yeah, yeah. Like that's what I'm that, not a smartphone girl. That's I'm a, what I'm that a tripod dumb phone is. Girl. Yeah, Karen yeah. and Wayne have absolutely. Oh, sorry, I just doxed you. Do you want me to bleed <laughs> My that? My parents' out? names. That's no, fine. <laughs> They've absolutely used it to tape their lovemaking. <laughs> When your mum pegged Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> just getting it. Just, just oh. his asshole was checkers that night. Just, just oh. getting it. I think I've already screamed into this microphone. That's fine. So if anyone's ears are bleeding, I'm yeah, so sorry. I can fix it in post. Anyway, welcome back. Can you, you fix this hum- in post? Hum- <laughs> can you fix this? There's no fixing that. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Censored. Forgot to put down tarp on that sofa. Um, <laughs> it's wet already. Welcome back to the Unnamed Drag Podcast with Boop. me, Nana Elizabeth Arthol. And me, Marilyn Elizabeth Sane. <laughs> <laughs> we are now sharing middle names and bodily fluids. Yes, yes, we are. We are sharing middle names, bodily fluids, and husbands. Yeah, so uh-huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain the setup, even though absolutely um, no, yeah. one, no one is going to care. I can, yeah. Um, basically, like... November's um, a little bit quieter than usual on the old like drag front. Well, for you, you're for not me, gonna... <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Some of us are booked and blessed. <laughs> uh, no, um, I actually like wanted November to be quiet uh-huh. because I actually meant to do that. Yeah, but... it's not because everybody's gone off me. They're so sick of me hearing, <laughs> so sick of having me shout Debbie McGee into a <laughs> pub. No one um, ever gets sick of that. And no, that's, that's I know. the magic of Debbie It is McGee. the hill that I will die on. Yeah. But yeah. I hope um, so. Hope soon. I just, uh, I was like, oh, I just can't be bothered to like get in drag in my house on a November afternoon. Yeah. Because. Um, also, we didn't used to get in drag for these. No. We so didn't. when we started a podcast, it was her idea. And I was yeah. like, okay, I guess I'll do a podcast, even though I don't read. I used to think podcasts were wanky. I still kind of do. Especially now everyone's got one. Oh, they're super wanky. They are wanky as hell. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I guess we'll do a podcast, but it's your idea. So it's your baby. Mm-hmm. like, And that's fine. And yeah. then I was like, I'm doing it, but I'm not getting drag for it. Yeah. We'll just wear extravagant outfits and, and then the compromise the extravagant the compromise was me saying we can do it like the jenna and julian podcast we can have like a green screen in the background yeah. and then just like have fancy images or whatever yeah yeah. and then it got to quote unquote season two back uh-huh. when we used to do seasons and tape breaks and whatever lol <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and i was like maybe we should get in drag guy Come on, guy. Hey, and, guy. And plus Let's get in drag, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy, pal, guy friend. Um, and plus, that was when we started doing, like, Always a Bottom and, like, yeah, some exactly. more, like, sketch comedy stuff, which we need to bring back. We do. Um, also, by this point, I think the I think season two of Always a Bottom will have premiered. I think I'm going to just put it out at some point in the future. Just like bef- your titties to the wind. They're really funny. Uh, you, deserve, you deserve to see that they're really funny. Guy, buddy, friend, pal. You yeah. should definitely definitely watch those but the reason for the new setup is i was like well i've this is like the traditional podcast format and i've never had a go at doing it before and i just thought i'll give myself a little bit of a challenge and i'll see how straightforward slash complicated it is yeah i feel like it's going to be more complicated than you think i don't know though like te- because they- children are doing it on no 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 tiktok no no, no. That's <laughs> so the why thing. can't i they're not they're paying editors to do it yeah, but I'm paying myself in laughter and sunshine. <laughs> I'm starving like, to death this winter. It's more like stale cum and turpentine. <laughs> mm, delicious. That's Marmite. You've just described Marmite. Yeah, bless my body and bless my soul. Um, <laughs> hi, Dorothy. Dorothy's on the pod today. This is our guest. Uh huh. I'm our just guest. sat like, hi. 
I don't. I can't see the camera, so I don't know if I'm sat like porn star therapist, like or just porn star rapist. <laughs> <laughs> no oh no oh no um yeah so we were just like, i don't know if i've got overhang i don't know if like yeah. my, are my titties out oh. are my dicks and titties oh, all over the place do oh. i have oh. somebody help me oh. um if this has gone horribly wrong though you will just be looking at the eye den but then with this really crisp like oh. radio sexy shipping forecast voice Men love pterodactyls. <laughs> Women don't need to breathe. <laughs> Men will be bewitched and hand over their wallets. Give me your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what are we talking about today, babe? Um, Come on, let's have a, let's 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 do our thing. Let's do a oh, podcast. Let, let's do our let's clown the thing. Cast. So yeah, anyway, let's cast that, the that's just a little bit of unnecessary <gasps> backstory. Wait, there. no, I have I have I have knowledge. I learned something today, which means I wasn't careful. Oh God, I'm so, so sorry. You should have worn a condom. <laughs> Oh my god, do you need me to drive you? Um, I'll drive you, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't know why. It's not relevant at all. Yeah, but, but I heard it and it was interesting. I literally just said, we can just have a chat today yeah. about what's been going on. Well, that's it. We don't, need, know. We don't need a format all the time. We can yeah. just have a nice little chin wag. And, and the thing is as well, because it's this new setup, I feel like more people are going to click. So we've already got your views. Do you think... <laughs> Yeah, we've already got 20 your, seconds in, it counts as a view. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, when in ye olde battle times, mm. they used to be, so the arches used to be at the back. Yeah. And the arrows fly over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, to protect the arches, they had like wooden stakes in the ground pointing outwards. You, mm-hmm. You've seen them. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I just Nazi saluted on the internet. Oh, no. <laughs> I was just there doing that. No. Um, wooden stakes in the ground, like fo- facing outwards yeah. to sort of protect them from any oncoming like attacker. Mm-hmm. Um, but then as the battle moved forward, the archers would also need to move forward. So they would pick out the um, the wooden stakes from the ground, therefore increasing the risk. And that's where the phrase raising the stakes comes from. Oh. Because the risk is increased because you're no longer protected. Yeah. But you're raising the stakes and moving forward. If I... How- how interesting is that? That's pretty fucking interesting. Right? Actually. I love I love language. <laughs> language. Do you love to language? I mm. couldn't I couldn't remember the expression skin in the game the other day and I kept skin on Skin in the game. Yeah, when you're just like, yeah, I don't have any skin in the game. I or, don't think I've heard that. And then the other one was like, I, I don't porn? have a horse in this race. Oh no, I know that and one. And then I kept on thinking, I don't have any skin in this race. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I was just like, fleshy sacks <laughs> lumbering towards a finish line. I don't have any horse in my skin. <laughs> like, I just I just kept on like interchanging the expressions <laughs> and just being like, this is so fucking I'm stupid. I'm just imagining a horse squeezed into a human morph suit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any horse in my skin. Uh, and then I thought of that meme where it was was like um someone it it <laughs> when it was a picture of a boy running on a track but then it had their skinless body behind them also yeah. running and it just looked like they were being, being chased, chased by Vecna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh sake. yeah so that's my interesting little fact no, thank you so much You're also welcome. if i was ever going to be um in an uh, like a medieval army uh-huh. it would just be like um when um, at school when we would play football I would always try and make sure that I got to go in goal or defense of the team Same. that was better so that they would just keep the ball away from mm-hmm. me I would like to be the archer at the back behind the stakes behind the shields behind with the most flamboyant weapon do you know what I mean yeah. oh we've got Dorothy on the pod oh Dorothy's back on the pod Dorothy's Hi. back on the pod got anything to add to the conversation today no as before. Dorothy that's usual. so racist <laughs> She's oh called- my god, Dorothy, you can't say that. Dorothy, Dorothy Perkins is controversial yet brave. Oh no. <laughs> Dorothy Perkins is Katie Hopkins. <laughs> oh my god, Fuck Dorothy. You. Oh my god, whatever happened to her? Well, whatever happened to baby K- I think baby Katie, baby Hopkins. So correct me if I'm wrong, I've not been fo- I've not been like following it a lot, but well, I think why she's would back. You? I'm sure that um, is Elon she's... Musk going to let her back on Twitter. Oh, probably. Um, <laughs> you can you can take her name and verify yourself. So well, by the time this podcast goes out, I don't even know if Twitter is going to exist anymore. The way that things are going, pour some out for Twitter. Um, I'm but, curious. So the my Twitter game's been fire recently. Mm. Like, how dare it go down the pan? I guess. I tweeted. Um, I tweeted the other day. What if when men came, they said, "Why can't I just be myself?" <laughs> 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 Why can't I just be myself? Um, <laughs> crying. <laughs> anyway, sorry, carry on. Um, I think she's back. I'm sure she was doing like a, because they, they kept having her on like formal debates. 
<laughs> and now her stance is very much moved to freedom of speech, which it always kind of has been. Which but is like, something that bigots like to, totally. you know, hit home. That she <laughs> makes some valid points in what I saw, which was she was in a debate mm. and she was arguing around like policing debates and Sorry, my house is haunted yeah by by a little cat yeah. <laughs> meow, meow. my house isn't haunted i'm just lonely <laughs> <laughs> so i just keep screaming into this microphone sorry um she was arguing around um policing debates and like um because basically people were saying you shouldn't be here mm. um but then if you don't have anyone to debate against mm-hmm. that's when you get that polarization of society because no one's talking to each other when you debate it's on your very own, frustrating when you debate on your own are you master debating yes exactly <laughs> but no it's it's the whole problem with the internet at the minute because it's very frustrating to have to engage with these people who are objectively wrong um yeah. but if you don't talk to each other then you just assume everyone agrees with you yeah. they become worse mm-hmm and it's just because because if you're all hanging out incredibly in this, polarizing if you're all hanging out in the same swamp you're gonna end up getting sucked on by the same leeches exactly you know what I mean? that is exactly what i said yeah yeah but that's me just you know <laughs> trying to use some kind of english degree <laughs> <laughs> my, my meanwhile i'm <laughs> quoting tiktok so. <laughs> oh do you know that i got a second in my degree yeah second degree burn <laughs> A second wind. Oh God, um, honestly. Yeah. Oh well, this is nice. It's nice. To, it's nice to be able to like a not be in drag. Yeah. B be on a sofa. Yeah, I'm not sweating. Get my little tootsies up. I'm not sweating. I'm comfortable. You're yeah. not too close to me. No, I know. Like my, you stink. My cat's here. Yeah. Yeah. Dorothy. I am wearing a, a lovely new earring though that Marilyn got me as a belated birthday present. Sure, yeah. It says "Live fast, eat trash," and it's a Thelma and Louise version of a possum and a raccoon, and I love it. Love them very much. It's adorable. Yeah, because yeah. normally we'd be like, let's talk through the outfits. And I'm just like, well, I'm wearing autumnal depression and I love it. I'm wearing a white T-shirt and black jeans because I'm basic and couldn't be asked. <laughs> but if you you've rolled up the sleeves a little bit, so you do look like a sexy 50s boy. Yeah, I'm very much like you're, he, you're sucking dick behind the diner. Oh, yeah. I was going to say a truck stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sucking dick somewhere. A diner at a truck stop. You're sucking you're sucking dick for cigarettes, yeah, for yeah. camels. I'm just doing loops. You're about sucking a camel's the, dick. <laughs> At the diner struck top, struck top, at the diner truck stop combo. The struck top. Why did you hit him? <laughs> oh, I wish I was dead. I know. Um, Dor- Dorothy's just looking at us, just like, is this what you do in that room upstairs when the door is locked? This is stupid. Is. <laughs> is this how you spend your time? <laughs> Jesus, you, you live, live like, like this? this. You live like this. Uh, no, yeah, but. I do. Yeah, I do, baby. I do. <laughs> there is another reason I'm here uh, today. We're going to do some sewing as well, we are. which is very impractical in drag. Yeah, do you so, know what I mean? Yeah, we're going to be sewing you some dresses. I'm so excited. These are so our- excited. So, um, I've I been I like so excited for these two ideas. I like I bought the fabric ages ago, months, and, and it, yeah, like literal months, and I've just been moving it from place to place, going. One day. <laughs> One day my friends will come. When will my reflection show? Oh. In the voice of Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, I, was, I was trying to do it like the YouTube video, but it did come out like Toad. Yeah, it did. That was so Toad. Oh. Hey, do you remember that pod where I played you the Toad version of Chandelier? I still need to lip sync that. <laughs> I really it's want terrible, to. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah, it's so aggressive. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, your throat hurts listening to it. Oh yeah, God, absolutely. It's, it's hell. I watched a really interesting video the other day that was, I it was kind of like fascinating but gross, a bit like my nudes. Me. Um. So there's this. Oh, ma- that was so gross. <laughs> that was so millennial. Me, 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 me. When I something something. <laughs> oh, grow up. <laughs> Shut up. So my face when me when Bay's like shut up buy me pizza touch my butt oh I hate it here yeah um this house is a prison <laughs> this house is a fucking nightmare so, so this um metal band called Lorna Shaw the singer can do like an array of really impressive voices Fun. where one's like goblin one's like guttural one's like a pig squeal he but does what are these, they goblin he does oh. these things that like. <laughs> 
<laughs> he does these things called tea kettle screams, which sound like pterodactyls, like pterodactyls. Men screams. love pterodactyls. They do, I mean. Yeah. But um, he went to, uh, I can't remember the people that study like the, uh-huh. the throat and the vocal cords and speech and stuff like that. I can't remember yeah. what they're called now. They um, numbed his throat he and his nose the and they put, they put a camera down his nose. So it was just it was an like eye looking back at them. What? An eye looking back from a fleshy <laughs> cave. But no, they, they filmed what his vocal cords were doing oh as God. he was doing things like <gasps> screeching. Oh. And when he was doing certain noises, it was actually like twisting on its side. Oh. So it was like flattening, but compressing. Uh, it was so fascinating. Can you put but, your dick in there? But like really gross at the same time. Like the different movements that you make. And the woman who was doing it, who was like a professional in a field was just like, I've never seen anything like this before. You're like a unicorn. And the, <laughs> and the guy was so sweet as well and so lovely. And then he makes these noises where you're just like, <clears throat> yeah, where where did that come from? Wow. He only did one come though. He only did one come. Yeah, though. honestly, it was so cool. And it, I, I really would love, I'd love to learn how to do like more interesting, like vocally things, but it not hurt the next yeah, day. Yeah, I'd love you to be talented too. <laughs> It'd be good. That'd be nice for everyone, wouldn't it? <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. Wouldn't that whore. be lovely? Shut your whore mouth. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. So we're sewing today and we're yes. in, and we're insulting each other and we're just having a gay old time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've come around to sew for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> because I do the Bob the Drag Queen thing where yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't mind making you a dress, but if you leave, I'll stop. <laughs> Keep me entertained. <laughs> You're like a baby. You don't have any object permanence. <laughs> when I leave the room, you just assume like, I don't oh, exist yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bury that. Because we are each other's imaginary friends. Yeah, it's the, the only way the that we can get any respite is when one of us walks out. <laughs> Normally to cut myself to alleviate some of the pain. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just want to feel something real. Yeah. Um, but Dorothy's you are getting put... better at sewing. What, sorry? You are getting much, much better oh, at sewing. Oh yeah, loads better. Yeah. I made a jacket. Yes. Oh yeah, that's hard as well. Yeah. Like sleeves. I made Find a jacket me. and it sits right. Yeah, proud but of you. But to be fair, I did. I made it and then... Uh, Essentially what I'd done is I'd made the lining. Essentially what I'd done. Essentially what I'd done was uh-huh. I made the lining uh-huh. because you're supposed to make like a jacket and then another jacket and then yeah. like sew the two jackets together and that's how you get a line jacket. Yeah, yeah. But because it was only covering it in red petals, I only had to do the lining. Yeah. So then I stuck petals on it and then they threw it off and they'd done a Billy eyelash. Oh yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, so you weren't there for that. No, but I saw you it shit. on the internet. <laughs> I'm not here a lot. What? Should we discuss the fact that I go, like, basically... You take breaks. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I respect my personal time. Um, and Well, no, because, because you have another job. That's true. So I can plan when I'm away around work, whereas you're... Did you just turn it off? No, I think, I, I think it was partially off, and oh, now no. it's back on. Well, I think it's been recorded. Yeah, no, I think I just nudged it. Oh, no. We'll see. We shall see. No, I think it's fine. Janky audio. But yeah. yeah, because I, I'm planning holidays around work, but you've got work and then work. So then sometimes when you plan your holiday around work, work, you can't go to work. Does that make sense? It does, actually. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. I, appreci- <laughs> I appreciate that. I just said the word work so many times it became meaningless. Let me think. Like, wow, 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 wow. Drag Race. <laughs> work, hunty, diva, slay. Tongue pop. <laughs> Independent girl boss, Queenie Boots. <laughs> I love that so much. Um, oh, fierce for the mug ball. What? <laughs> just nothing. Jesus, just, why did that sound like a slur? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the mug ball. Yeah, Jesus. The ball mug. That's uh, when testicles go on your nose. Oh. Um, um, so yeah, that's why you're away sometimes, yeah, I, isn't it? I, well, plus you hate me. Oh, I wish I was dad. Um, I wish you were dad. Because um, lockdown ended, so we booked as wait, many wait, wait, holidays wait, wait, wait. as we could. Wait, 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 wait. You have to say that piece of advice that you said the other day. What, you're never going to actually kill yourself? So you may as well no, 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 nice no. Time. It's like an extension of that. When you were talking about being more gentle with yourself. Can you not remember? You were like, I'm going to stop saying horrible things oh, to myself. Oh, yeah, no, totally. Because... That yeah. So I'm trying I'm trying this thing where you know when you do something wrong and you're like, oh you stupid fucking bitch. You've ruined everything, you yeah. poopy little slut. I'm yeah. trying to be actively nicer to myself because you nothing you don't deserve to be punished. Nothing I do is worthy of punishment. Yeah. I don't deserve to be punished. I'm not in trouble. Why am I being nasty to myself? I don't know. I've seen you drag. Yeah. 
It's worthy of punishment, Dad. Being that sexy uh, should be illegal. It is. <laughs> In a lot of Muslim countries, oh. I'm not allowed. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> is that okay? I don't I'm know. I'm not sure. Me neither. We'll see. Um, but when you said something very specific, you said it's not about wishing I was dead. It's about wishing everyone else was. <laughs> Yes. Reframe it for yourself. If you keep saying, I wish I was dead, then you're going to end up like hating on yourself. Yeah, exactly. And it's that self-fulfilling prophecy thing as well. Because Shift if you it back, hold it's like, the phone. It's like what Sarah Shower was saying. If you joke enough about having a kink, you'll get that kink. If you joke about being sexy, you will yeah. start to believe you're actually sexy. Yeah. If you keep saying, I wish I was dead, you'll eventually be depressed. Yeah. Shockingly, mm. if you're not already. Um, oh. um, but like, yeah, if you're nicer to yourself, and nothing I'm doing is worth like punishing myself over Mm -hmm. and also nothing good has ever come out of me punishing myself or behaving in that way if i am rude or nasty to myself it doesn't then make me more productive yeah yeah yeah. it doesn't inspire me (laughs) to do my best (laughs) exactly (laughs) nothing good has ever come out of me punishing myself so uh, I'm just gonna... I don't know. You probably had some pretty sick cums. Mm, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that's a different kind of punishment, oh. though. Ladies, am I right? <laughs> it turned purple. <laughs> what the cum? Yeah. <laughs> I'm bleeding somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> it's not, it's not it's right. Not, it's so gelatinous. It's not even getting a chance to oxidize. <laughs> For fuck's sake. But yeah, I'm trying to be nicer to myself. Yeah. And, and I think that's lovely because uh, I agree. I concur that we all should be a lot nicer to ourselves yeah. most of the time. Mm. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice to be nice. So, yeah, it's nice to be nice. Yeah. But going back to what you were saying about, yeah, you just not doing shows with me sometimes, <laughs> you piece of shit. Well, this weekend, just gone, I've done two shows without you. You put on your big boy pants. I so hate you it. put on your big girl pants over your big, big boy, boy balls. balls. Yeah. <laughs> My big boy balls. <laughs> My man knockers. <laughs> My man knockers. <laughs> Next time, I, if anyone ever hits me in the balls by accident, I'm just going, oh, my man knockers. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Yeah, that's really bad. That's terrible. I love it. Oh, it felt great when I said my it. Man knockers. My man knockers. Oh, so yeah, you, you, done um, the, you did the no, thing. You, with, were dead. you did the thing without your emotional support dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which now means I don't need you anymore. And I'm going to go. I'm going to go do my own podcast. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be called Unnamed Drag podcast two <laughs> great thank you yeah amazing no, e- everyone's gonna tune the fuck into that if anything that sentence just proved that i still need you <laughs> because i'm not that funny <laughs> i'm not that funny on my own you're not that funny i'm just really boring yeah, i'm same. sorry i need to keep saying it because i'm not I'm... funny i'm just mean yeah that too <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. yeah but i did gigs alone it wasn't as bad as i thought it's just you have to be like on you can't like because to be fair, they were lovely gigs. Like one was a live event, which if you've ever been to a live presents show, they are Olivia, Alafia, Olivia. Yeah, yeah. Olivia presents. Mm-hmm. That's her full title. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and Olivia presenting. Yeah, <laughs> and like a horny cat at a window. She has this talent of pulling together like the coolest people, which obviously mm. includes me. Um, <laughs> I wasn't available. That's or, why. Or I, invited. <laughs> I was. I was asked. Can I just point out that I was asked? To not be there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were asked to be elsewhere. Like, oh no, the bus is full. We'll get you on the next one. <laughs> well, there wasn't a bus and the train got cancelled. That was definitely off at some point. Oh, we'll see no. what the audio does. I can still see like spikes and stuff. I so I, d- I don't think I ever fully turned it off. It just kind of, I'm going to stop touching it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, the train got cancelled. Mm. So I... Because it said a racial slur on Twitter. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's not allowed back on YouTube. It's not monetized anymore. Uh, EMA was tweeting some horrible things about travelers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, travelers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. I'm so sorry. So it was me, Bin Juice and Susie Nova. Susie Nova driving. Mm-hmm. Three and a half hours there, three and a half hours back. Lovely, mm-hmm. really nice road trip. Mm-hmm. Like with with my with my queer gal pals. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Nice. It's fucking wonderful. Um, and then the next day, I was hosting a birthday party, which is a very different gig. Yeah, because the Olivia Lafayette Olivia presents mm-hmm. gig was at Nottingham 
Nottingham? Norwich um, Arts Centre, which if you haven't been, is an old church. Yeah, and I've seen it With before. a massive stage in it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this is production and I sanctifying gravity and I was green and I had a cape and a wind machine. And, yeah. Oh, you it, could not, it looked great. You could not tell me I wasn't yeah. in the West End. Apart from the vocals were a little weak, but don't worry about it. <laughs> the cape made up for it. I wasn't quite belting it out like Colleen, wasn't, but you know. Yeah, exactly. I wasn't quite a dull Kazim, mm. um, but I was close. Who's the other one? Chris Christine Reykjavik, what's yeah. her name? Yeah, Kristen Chenoweth. That's it. <laughs> Kristen Chenoweth and Adina Menzel. Uh, whatever. But I, but yeah. I call her Adala, Adal Tazim. Yeah. Because that's what John I was thinking of like Colleen uh, Ballinger or whatever, like Miranda sings. Lorraine Kelly. Lorraine Kelly. Yes. Yeah, when she, the, the infamous mm-hmm. <laughs> stint that she did on Broadway. <laughs> As Alphabet. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, and then, yeah. You were the like, next... oh, you look great. Are you Princess Fiona? <laughs> She's like, so rude <laughs> so rude um and then i the love next... you lorraine if you're listening <laughs> where'd you put your wee balls um the next night i was hosting a birthday party mm-hmm. and it was really it was cool yeah. it was cool all like, people were there that you liked and yeah that totally helped. that does help because it's i wasn't not... sure if like because if it's a hard crowd and you're on your own yeah. you have to do all the work yeah whereas if you've got people like who are in the mm. mood to be entertained or want to be part of it, yeah. it makes it so much easier. I had that exact same thing at the Twisted Pole Showcase. Like, I knew that I was doing. That's a seated event. As I well. knew that I was doing great because the people who had to clean the poles of like the grip in between each performance, the body slather behind me, I could hear giggling. So That's I was good. like. I know that I'm not bombing. It's just yeah. the crowd is a little bit shy. Yeah, that's the problem. Because yeah. it, especially at seated events, they're during not sure. The day, yeah, seated events during the no day, alcohol. they're not drunk. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to be like, get your tits out. Yeah. Which is sometimes fun. Mm-hmm. But there's also like crossing that line where they think they're funnier than you. Mm. When they start like chiming in with like just really basic drag race reads. And you're yeah. like, shut I did get heckled up. once, but they were so far away. I couldn't hear what they said. <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> so I just went for the old standard of like, oh, do you want the mic? Yeah. <laughs> I love what um, oh Donna did. Donna, um, the one who we booked. Donna? Donna Trump. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Donna. I, okay. My brain was auto-tuning that to Donna K. Bab, which is Phil's drag name. Um, and of course it is. <laughs> Donna <laughs> just <laughs> Someone heckled them and Donna just went, I am a drag queen with an enormous cock and a microphone. How dare you? <laughs> and the audience just went, <laughs> including me. It was very well responded. Oh, yeah. excellent. Yeah. <laughs> good. yeah, we have been working a lot. We like, have. Um, we did uh, like a lot of glad rags and bingo um, during October. Yeah. Uh, we went, it was Halloween. We went to the Swan in the Rushes or was that we September? Did. When was that? I'm sure. No, it was October. I was yeah. wearing a little skeleton. Dress. I feel like we did a lot of bingo in October. We did. Like that. Hockley more... Hustle. Yeah. Hock... yeah. Hockley Hustle was great because wow. how did I define it? I was like, I love this crowd because I was like, it's got the spirit of a mosh pit, yeah. but the unpredictable energy of a hen party. 100%. <laughs> Very that. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, because like it was three games of bingo spread throughout the day, but there was a different crowd at each game. Yeah. So you could just copy and paste your material yeah. from the first one. We did different numbers though. We so did we do were different like, numbers. if anybody wants to come back, then you'll hear new songs. Yeah. And I did make an effort to not repeat change. the same jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> Ella and Bella were there for the whole thing. Yeah, day. <laughs> just looking over them like, don't yeah, yeah. Fuck, do not, do don't not say you any better laugh. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they were just there for the whole day, just tanking cocktails. Yeah. Just sat at the bar. Legs, making, legs making, crossed because bisexuals. Yeah. Not knowing how to sit in a <laughs> yeah, chair. Yeah, because queers. Yeah, yeah. precisely. <laughs> S- says me, who's changed position in this chair about three times. I am getting drawn like one of you French girls. Yeah, oh. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Anything else to say? I don't know. I'm very tired. Yeah. Sh- <laughs> you look tired. That, right, brilliant. Have you been crying? Well, you can sew your own dress. <laughs> Oh, what, what's that? I've got to go. Oh, oh good luck. Good no. luck sellotaping that together. Go to Italy. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not going on any holidays now till the new year. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I wish it was done. I'm going to Berlin in February. Have you been to Berlin? I've never been to what Berlin. What do you mean you've never been? been you've, you've never, never been <laughs> to, Berlin. to Berlin, darling. To, yeah. Art scene, darling. Berlin, darling. The art you, scene, darling. For those of you who haven't heard the wonderful song, works of gay boy, this bastard and Frank yeah. just 
Mwah. It's so funny. <laughs> we're, and they we're, have make, a song. we're making musical love with each other. They we're having a are. great time. They have a song um, called Berlin. Yeah. Is it just called Berlin? I think I think the demo is called Berlin Darling XXX. Love that. I don't love know why. That. It's just what I saved the file as. Big slay. Yeah. And um, the whole song is, what do you mean you've never been? You've never <laughs> been to Berlin? <laughs> well, Frank, Cut to the admission that neither of you have been to Berlin. Yeah. Right. At the end. <laughs> but I am going in February. Okay. So you'll yeah. stop being a liar. Yeah, Brilliant. I will. And fr- I think Frank is planning to go soon as well. That's but good. yeah, if you would like to hear any of our music, you can find it at um, All Right Gay Boy, the Four, the A is a four and the O is a zero because which house? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. And also it differentiates us from all the other people who are using the handle gay boy yeah, online. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. It is actually really good music as well. It's, I mean, you were surprised that it wasn't absolute garbage. I usually hate everything you do. Yeah, so you know what I mean? It was nice. It was refreshing. It's the- <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's like a mon- you sound like butters crying. It's like a monkey what? learning how to come. <laughs> Um, it's like a hentai girl getting fingered. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. Right, carry on. Um, I've completely forgotten what I was going to say. I've Berlin, ab- gay boy, I've absolutely- me hating your work. No, I've no. I've, I've chunked it. Right. I, can't- <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to say at all. Really? I think we should wrap this up, though. I, I only wanted this to be a short pod. How long is it? It's like 30 minutes. Oh, good for us. Yeah, yeah do you know nice, little, nice little chin wag, nice little catch Well, up. again, if the editing's gone well, hello. Hi. Um, if the editing's gone badly, then I hope that you've enjoyed just listening. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> good luck to Just you. listening to this really crispy audio. Yeah. Do you know what's going to be sad as well? What? The next time we record a podcast and, and we don't use these Mugs and just gonna be like mm. goes back to <laughs> goes back to Russell. Yeah. yeah, these are our uh, mics that we bought inspired by the panny when we were like, we should probably start taking our own microphone somewhere in case we yes. lick COVID. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, so I guess sorry that's for, <laughs> I'm sorry if at any point I did turn the microphone off. <laughs> to editing Tom, I am deeply sorry. <laughs> Who the fuck are you calling Tom? I guess I'm out of drag. Yeah, you're Tom now. Yeah, all right, Lewis. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I know. Not sure well, there is like that. there is that thing in drag. Like I did it to I've done it to both Bella and Ella, where you sort of look at them and go, "What's your name?" Because you don't know anyone's name. I, d- I do know their name. I do now. Yeah. 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 Weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, D- because and but- also you go that doesn't suit you. <laughs> I no, don't like We're not that. doing that. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We're not doing Pat. No, we're not doing that. No. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for I'm going to go sew this fucker address. Yeah, for watching this experiment on a podcast. If you like this format and you think that we should be dragged kicking and screaming into the 21st century uh, and doing what all the other children are doing, then, you know, do let us know. But yeah. equally, I don't know how much of an effort this is going to be to edit. Well, I hope it oh. works out really well because it's a lot less effort for me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Um, also, because of the angle this is filmed at, my hand and my leg look fucking massive. Oh, and then, nice. then I've got like a tiny head. I look like <laughs> one of the Goombas from the Super Mario Brothers movie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fit. Love that. Sex. All right. As always. Talk uh, to you soon. See you tomorrow. Please lick and share. Uh, and <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. All of that stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time for it will be December. So we'll be delivering our Queen's Queef. We certainly will. We'll uh, see you uh, then a uh, queef speech have a lovely time yeah. try not to eat each other yeah definitely and if you do eat each other what bye, <laughs> <laughs> bye. Okay. 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 i was absolutely gonna make a point to finish on it i don't know what it was <laughs> and if you do eat each other spit on it first <laughs>